Guys, I invited Kakaro yesterday and we played the first to 10. And then I won 10-1. I beat Kakaro yesterday 10-1. I've been studying the matchup a lot. So guys, let's work together and destroy this character. Let's work together and destroy it. I'm, I'm done with him. I'm done with him. This character took $200,000 of me. You guys know what that means. I'm coming for this character. I don't care. <laughs> So, I found so many stuff against JB, so I want to introduce them to, to you guys, for the Ken, for the Ken main especially. So, JB, his strongest point is here, because here he can chip your gauge, he can destroy your gauge, burn you out, and then destroy you. That's his main game plan. So, JB's game plan is to destroy your gauge, to get you to burn out as soon as he can, and then just destroy you so what i figured out is because the portal is always here like above so you always when, when he does the portal he traps you to do drive rush and then he checks it with crouch media punch but what i figured out is that you don't need to do drive rush to him you just need to be in the mid range just drive rush nothing you don't need to get to him might as well just spend the drive rush, get to here, jab, stop it with jab, because JB's weak point is this range. Yes, it's this range against Ken, because Ken from this range has so many things, but from this range, I can't do shit. But in this range, I have so many things. Yes, his neutral is way superior than mine, but Ken has four options in here which can make JB lose his mind. First, first of all, fireball. He has his fireball. He can throw it from here, like get close to him, the fireball. The second option is drive rush. Drive rush jab from here. If you go from here, it's easier for him to check with crouch media punch. So try to always be in this range. With this range, drive rush throw. You can extend and throw. Mostly they, they might parry, so you get a punish counter throw. Or if you know he's gonna check, this, this. He can't press medium, he can't react to this, no way. Unless he's just buffering medium and neutral without, without trying to react, then he'll be able to stop it. So, the fireball, drive rush jab, drive rush throw, a skin, dragon lash, and run step kick. So, the only way to beat fireball, he has to EX fireball you. This is why I, re I realized. The only way to beat his fireball, to beat my fireball is for him to EX fireball. I even if he perfect parry, let's say he perfect parry my fireball, the maximum he can do is walk up, crouch media kick, punish counter, I think. So this is this is uh, the, the maximum he can get. So there is no there is no there is no risk in throwing the fireball unless he does the EX fireball to bait your fireball. So when you know he's going to throw the EX fireball, just wait, driver's job, punish counter. Drive, look at this. If you get a punish counter jab, you can do this. He's already in the corner. So if he does a fireball, he's already in the corner. Or you can do this. Stand media kick, because sometimes you're far, you're far away. You do this, this. Yes, this. The last option is Dragon Lash. But Dragon Lash, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say use it a lot as much as the other options, which are drive rush, fireball, run step kick. So, and the only way for him to beat run step kick is you see he sees the run, he does impact for the run. That's what he, that's what he should do. So, what you should do to bait the, uh, the like the impact, you can do run stop impact back. That's what you should do. So this is, I think, how the matchup should be played, especially with offensive characters, for example, Luke, Ken. So yeah, so this is the, how you play the mid-range. But now I'm going to introduce you to my, to my tech versus JB, like recently. So there are three stuff that I want to talk about because um, when I, when I uh, when I realized that his 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 strongest point is amnesia, 
So I'm like, how do I make him stop amnesia? I want to do something to, to make him stop, do, um, stop doing amnesia. So a sick JB player, a sick JB player, you know what a sick JB player would do? A sick JB player would mix up between wake up Perry, wake up amnesia, and wake up jab, and wake up forward jump. He would never take. I realized a sick, if you guys realize too, a sick JB player would never take when he's in the corner. Because he, he would say, if I'm going to take, I'm going to amnesia. That's what they think. Why, if I know he's going to throw me, why not just amnesia? So my take here is, his best options against me is Perry and like the Perry and the amnesia. So I came, I came up with the option that can beat both of these, both of them. This is it. So let him wake up. So Amnesia and Perry. He's gonna wake up either one of them. Look at this. Look at this. This is the new tech. See? It's punish counter. This is how I beat the Perry. The only way for JB to beat this impact, to beat this impact, is by doing hold Perry. But I realize no one does hold parry on wake up because if they do the the parry and release it it's a punish it's a guaranteed punish it's not a punish counter it's a wolf blood but if they release the parry and try to press something punish counter guaranteed this is guaranteed 100 percent so this option beats wake up amnesia and wake up parry at the same time again You guys might ask, how do we react this fast? So, how I do it is... The way I do it is I react to the drive gauge on his wake up. This is my take, guys. I look at his drive gauge. If I see his drive gauge gone a bit, impact. So, because he definitely did one of these. Either Amnesia or Perry. Yes, I watched the Daigo Nemo. But, if you guys watched that set, Nemo wasn't doing amnesia, so Daigo was throwing him a million times and he wasn't doing amnesia. He wasn't doing amnesia. But if you play someone like Kakuro, he'll mix up between Perry, amnesia. Someone like Kakuro, he would spam amnesia on you. He doesn't care because he knows if he get it once, you are in the corner and it's over. So this is what I realized. Look at the drive gauge because if his drive gauge gone, a little bit, it's it's definitely Perry or Amnesia. Immediately you do impact. It's a guarantee. I promise you guys. I promise you guys. This is guaranteed. Really. So, this is it. So his option, if he knows that I'm going to wait for his drive gauge, is forward jump. He gets out of the corner. But you should be ready to impact and ready to jump back medium to keep him blocked in the corner. You have to keep him blocked in the corner. It's very bad if JB leaves the corner. It's very bad. Other character, if they leave the corner, it's actually, it's okay. You can get them back. But JB might actually kill you. He might actually kill you if he leaves the corner. So you should lock him in the corner. So this. Amnesia. So look at this, guys. Look at this. Punish. 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 Can't do anything. I actually watched a recent set of you versus Kakuro and you're going to the driving back tick. Yes, Kevin. I actually played uh, Kakuro yesterday. I won 10-1. But you know why I won 10-1? I'm, I'm pretty sure next time he's gonna, he's gonna love what I did. But I wanted to test my strategy. What I did, it's not because of this I beat Kakuro. This is... This is actually 50% of why I beat Kakuro yesterday. But the main reason I beat Kakuro is the last thing I want to talk about, which people don't know. So don't you guys agree that in the middle of the round, you find yourself in burnout against JB for no reason? I kept watching and watching and watching my matches. And then I realized, why am I in burnout at this time? Why am I in burnout? Like, what is the thing? So when I realized, when I started watching a lot, I knew why I'm always in burnout most of the time. 
It's because of this. Look at this, guys. This is what make me beat Kakro. So every time, so for example, this is minus three, right? No, the, yes, on block, this is a uh, minus five. But let's say you do this on block. Look at this. This on block is minus two. Look at this. For Let's say, I, for example, I did this minus two. I'm not in range, right? For a throw, I'm minus two, everything. So, JB players will always do this. Don't you guys agree? Count frame four. Yes. This is why you're always in burnout. Guys, this is why you're always in burnout. Because of this. Heavy punch. The what it's because of actually this. Because every minus move that you do, they don't pressure you. They don't go and walk. They, because they know his walk speed is slow, they don't walk a throw. What I, what I realize is that every time they will heavy punch fireball, fake fireball, they will start with heavy punch. It's the heavy punch. Heavy punch, fake fireball, you would try to parry, drive rush throw, lose drive gauge. Heavy punch, heavy punch, heavy punch on block, you lose two, three. So every round, every round is it's, it's the heavy punch. It's the heavy punch. Also, this is the main thing, it's the heavy punch. So what I realize is that every string that I do, they, and they don't do it immediately, guys. They don't do the heavy punch immediately. They do walk back, heavy punch. They don't do the heavy punch immediately. Don't uh, misunderstand me. They walk back and then heavy punch. You know why? Because if you did this and try to do a buffer from here, see? Punish. Yes. See, look at this. Punish counter, you can't press. They walk back and do this. So every time you, your drive gauge is, is destroyed because of heavy punch. What makes JB put you away? Heavy punch, heavy spin, right? It's the heavy punch, punish counter, heavy spin. You're, in the, you're full screen away. Then he starts his, his zoning again. When you get in, you already spent two drive rushes to get in at him. And God knows if, if he's, he's gonna check you or not. So what I, what I realize is that you need to parry, delay parry, not do parry immediately. If you see him walk back, parry. Because he's not walking back to do nothing, right? Because they know his neutral is stupid. They know this character neutral is terrible. Terribly good, I'm sorry. This is why they walk back heavy punch. So you do delayed parry. Because if you do immediate parry, they will react to it, walk through. They will not do the heavy punch. This is why I was spamming on Kakiro yesterday. Delayed parry, delayed parry. Whether it's perfect or not, I don't care. But I get to save my drive gauge. I get to save my drive gauge. So this is the thing. Also, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is what they do. I'm surprised no one talked about this, but this is what they do. This is this is what JB players do. You need to love this with every character in the game. This is what they do. Look. Look at this. They do this, and then they do the portal. At the time of explosion, they drive rush at you to continue chipping your gauge. This is what they do. Look at this, again. Do this, react with this all the time. Sweep, he can't do nothing. Again. Sweep. Sweep every time. Don't let them do this. Don't let JB players do this, guys. So, these are my main tech against JB. So guys, let's work together and destroy this character. Let's work together and destroy it. I'm, I'm done with him. I'm done with him. This character took $200,000 of me. Do you guys know what that means? I'm coming for this character. I don't care. <laughs> so guys, with every character, do this.
Some guys will come and tell me, ah, oh, you play Ken, you shouldn't talk. Brother, brother, I don't destroy your drive gauge. I kill you with offense, but I don't destroy your drive gauge for no reason. This character deletes your drive gauge while you're just sitting there. You might just ask yourself, how did I lose this much drive gauge? Like how, really? So I hope you guys benefited from this. Better, Habibi, this is a YouTube content, brother. Habibi, better. This video, everyone in the world needs to see it.